Okay, hey everyone. So today we're going to have a look at a new little tool that I discovered called Cloud App, which is basically a screen recorder, uh, image capture, uh, GIF maker, and also gives you the ability to uh, do annotations and stuff uh, on graphics and that. So quite good, for, you know, for collaborating and teams and even like teachers, for example, that are wanting to illustrate certain concepts, you know, showing people on screen what they are doing and also, you know, creating graphics. Now, uh, traditionally in the past, I've used this little tool here, which is called Snagit. And uh, I'm just really comparing uh, Cloud App to Snagit to see which one I'm going to prefer more in the future. Um, I've already paid for Snagit. It's a one-time purchase for Snagit versus, uh, versus a monthly fee for Cloud App. It starts from about $8 per month. Um, so yeah, as I say, I'm just in the testing phase right now, but I thought I would just, you know, showcase it for you over here. So I've already installed it. It's all on my computer and ready to go. And you'll see it over here, the little icon called Cloud App. Now, I'm actually using Cloud App right now to record this. So, you know, let's see how good this quality is. Um, so I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to be able to show you all the features because I am using Cloud App right now to record this. But let us see if I right click over here um, you'll see all the various options that are available to you. You can upload a graphic from your computer that you can then annotate. You can upload from clipboard, take a screenshot screenshot and share, take a delayed screenshot, which can be quite handy in certain circumstances, take a window screenshot, take a screen recording, record a webcam video, create a note, and those are the general options over there. So that's what happens if I right click over there. If I just click over here, you can see some of the previous recordings over here, and then you can see the different options that we have, you know, take a screenshot, take a GIF, uh, take an HD recording, which is what I'm doing right now. And then over here, you've got the annotate feature, annotate feature, which is quite handy in terms of, you know, um, you know, when you're creating a blog post or something and you wanting, you take a screenshot and then you want to like, you know, show an arrow or whatever. And probably the best thing I can do is just to click this over here and to show you exactly what I mean. So here is the cloud app annotate screen. I'll just make it a little bit bigger over here for you. Okay. And you can see we've got the general things over here. So if I zoom in here, I can just make it a bit clearer. You've got the arrow, you've got the line, for example, if I wanted to underline over here, you know, you can underline it. You can change the colors. Uh, so let's say I want the next element to be this lavender color. You can make little squiggles and whatever like that. And probably very handily, especially if you are showcasing, uh, you know, sensitive data like, you know, you know, account information or passwords or whatever. You've got this little blur tool, which is quite nice. So you can just select the area like this and it will then blur it out for you nicely. You can change, uh, you know, the thickness of like uh, arrows and lines. So you see that one's a lot thicker than that one now. Uh, square, circle, and then you can also add text. So I'll just briefly show this to you text here okay and you'll notice it's still that lavender color over there so you can select the element again and then for example change it to pink or whatever you want to do so quite a nice little feature there of annotation um, all of this what I've shown you is pretty much comparable to what Snagger can already do for that one-time price but the biggest difference between something like uh, Snagit and Cloud App over here is that every time that you create a screenshot or you take a video or whatever, it is automatically added to the cloud and automatically uh, gives you a link that you can then share with colleagues or friends or whatever. That is something that Snagit doesn't do automatically. And because of these cloud features, that is why you are paying um, that monthly premium. So this is what I'm just testing now. You know, this is the first screen recording that I've done now for Cloud App. So I'm really just at the stage uh, where I'm just testing uh, to see which one will be best. So I'm just going to end this video over, over here and then definitely have a look at the blog post uh, to see the, you know, my final thoughts and ideas just regarding Cloud App versus some of the competitors out there.
All the best and I uh, hope this uh, video is useful to you today in terms of making a decision. And probably just one final point before I go. Um, I am actually considering um, Cloud App, uh, actually purchasing the pro version of Cloud App uh, as part of the AppSumo Black plan. Now AppSumo is basically a website for entrepreneurs and startups where they give you fantastic deals on a number of different companies. Now AppSumo Black is a monthly fee that you pay to AppSumo to get access to, I, I believe it's about 15 or 20 tools now, and Cloud App is one of them. So you pay a low monthly fee and you get access to all these great tools, and they're adding a new tool every single week. So this is why I'm actually having a look at Cloud App because I, I became aware of Cloud App because of AppSumo. So just something to think about, you know, if you're looking at using Cloud App and even just one or two of the other tools, um, AppSumo Black could definitely be something that you want to consider too. And I'll include a link um, in the description of this video there for you. Okay, hope that's helpful and we'll talk soon. Bye-bye.